The best of the morning X. 99X. So, Chris, uh, not Crash, but Rich, down at the NASCAR race this weekend. I was there. Had a good time. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I sat for the two hours and 12 minutes that I sat on my ass doing nothing with a rain delay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we were talking earlier this week about the little mall area. It's not little. It's huge. Yeah. Where they bring out the all semis. Of the, the semis, and each racer has their own trailer or trailers with their own merchandise in there. Like, Earnhardt's got, like I think, oh. like five of them. It's unbelievable. They just pull the semi up and flip the side of it up, and they have everything oh. you can imagine. Imagine mm-hmm. from toilet paper to book covers. You I could mean, spend everything. hours there, I bet. There's there's so much great stuff there, but the one thing I've always wanted to go into, and they usually have several of them there, are, is the smoker's tent. Oh, well, that and like the airport, too. The airport, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where How big is a, the smoker's tent? It, it, these things are huge. I mean, they're massive productions. These cigarette companies come out with these huge, I mean, they're giant red tents, and the inside, it, you know, they've got, like, air conditioning going in and, like, music playing and stuff. Matter of fact, there was one, I don't think they had one at this race, but there was one that I poked my head into a while back that had this giant movie playing. I mean, I'm talking a movie screen the size of, like, going to Phipps or something. Wow. And, and the movie was about how great smoking how great is. Smoking I was going to say, what were they running? <laughs> <laughs> were they playing Cancer 4? Yeah, like, people no, are, like, playing, like, backyard football with yeah. a cigarette band. <laughs> it's, like, so politically incorrect. <laughs> They get like your email address. They they get your uh, your ID, and once you get in the tent, they take a photocopy of your ID. Just to be in Why? the smokers' tent. Just to be in the smokers' tent. Oh, maybe that's um, so. What reason? May, uh, uh, maybe it expedites the death certificate. They already have oh, the information. Oh yeah, they have it already. So uh, so I walk into the smokers' tent, and and there's. It, the, the setting is it's like this they tried to make it look like this cool hip club on I the know. inside it's like, funny like they've got like this the silver bar and stuff like that but it just looks so depressing and the people in there no one's having a good time they're all it's filled with smoke they try to pump a, a bunch of air through what do you mean nobody's having a good time what's not fun about smoking oh yeah I mean how can you not have in fun? masses and enclosed in a tent yeah, how can you not have fun smoking worse. yeah and there's a and the inside of the tent is about twice the size of this room which is about how big would you say maybe like the size of 20 by 20 Maybe half of a basketball court is the, maybe not even that. A fourth of a basketball court is about the size of the inside of this tent, and there's about 40 people in there. I mean, it's just packed, and there's like 10 people lined up at this bar, like all just sitting there with like their elbow on there, just smoking, tasting the flavor. And I gotta tell you, these cigarettes are so freaking strong. I, I mean, I, I well, here, let's go to the tape. Light or full flavor. Uh, what's that? Light or full flavor. Give me a full flavor. That'd be great. Let me try one of those guys. Waterproof. Curved to fit in your back pocket. Hell yeah. Back up with no oh, additive. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Light or full flavor. <laughs> you want the full flavor. This stuff's great. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is the best cigarette I've ever smoked. <laughs> Let me hit another one of them, they're good. Okay, now that's enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I haven't finished my cigarette yet. Come on, you got to go though, you got to finish it outside. I am in a smoker's booth, I'm having a good time. I've got customers to wait on those, sir. <laughs> okay, I'll stand right here, I'll, I'll get out of the way. <laughs> 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 Woo. You guys gotta try one of these. This is the full flavored ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done with cigarette number one. Can I have another one? <laughs> They're in your bag, sir. All right. <laughs> Ooh, party time! Woo! What's that? All done. I still got a little bit left. You can actually uh, smoke it outside. You smoke it outside, but I, I'm in the smoker's tent. Why can't I smoke it in here? <laughs> it's party time! <laughs> 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 All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> now, how much? Matter? Now, tell me how many puffs did you have? Oh, I I smoked the whole thing, and, and I you're called, inhaling. Oh and my God! I how'd was, you not throw up when you're doing that hack? Oh, uh, I don't I don't know. All I know is I called Jimmy later on that day. It must have been I don't know seven or eight hours after I'd smoked that cigarette, and my voice was gone because those things are so. Strong. Well, plus, I, you were hacking. I kid you not. I I felt a little stoned because I never smoked I think, well, tobacco. I think that if you don't smoke, it, even a cigarette can give you a buzz. Yeah. Oh, I was like, party time. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, those people who work at those smokers' tents. I mean, that's and, and a lot of times it's like you know grandmas and stuff. Oh, come on, that's top of the <laughs> line. Like, yeah, and I like how that when they have the like 
they have the sexy women in there sometimes. They'll have the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bars and stuff, too. They, Even I, the sexy women are not no. dumb enough to work inside the smoker's inside tent. Inside the smoker's <laughs> tent. Inside the smoker's tent. That's some tent. good hack in there. Oh, thank you. Good job, yeah. God, I, would, I, I wish I went to the smoker's tent. Hey, Morning X, hello. Hey there. Hey. How are you? Good. good. What's up? I need to talk to you guys for a second. Okay. Yes. I have, first of all, I have quit smoking for almost two months now. Good for you. And it is it is the hardest thing I have ever sure had to do. Sure it is. It's not supposed it to be easy. It is terribly difficult. It might sure. be addictive. Oh, it might be. God, I wish it weren't. <laughs> well. But, but you guys talk about smokers like we're awful. And I, I put myself in that position because I smoked for a long time. We're talking about the tent or the room at the think, airport. No, 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 no. Awful. I don't think I you're that. awful. I don't think I smokers that. are awful. I think smokers are pathetic and weak, but I don't think they're <laughs> awful. Oh. <laughs> Jimmy, I, I mean, I don't care what? if people smoke, just not around me. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> Jimmy, you've never been addicted to anything. What so I'm, you know. I'm not talking about somebody who has an occasional cigarette at a party. I mean, that's not what I'm talking. I'm talking about like people who have Chain. to go, people who have to go to the, to the airport smoking booth. People who cannot break themselves sure. free of a cigarette. That to me right. is pathetic and, I, and, and I've weak. I've seen those people. I'm one of those that never smoked in restaurants. Right. Uh, because I don't like or didn't like the. The fact that I was trying to eat and people were smoking around me, right? And I very well, very well, may be one of those people that are off the chart as a normal smoker. Because if I was with someone that didn't smoke, I didn't smoke. It didn't mean that I didn't want to, but I just didn't. But I quit smoking so I could begin a family. But you know what? My you... husband didn't smoke, and he put his foot down, and but... I said, "Okay, fine, I'm going to do this because I want a child." But you know, what? you are an example. You prove my point because you quit, right? Yeah. So you are a strong person because you were able to kick the horribly addictive habit. It, it takes. Mean that I don't want one every day. Uh, yeah, but, but you might but live a little minute. longer. There's nothing. Of course, you want one, but you're but you have willpower. So and you are yeah. strong. So you're over to over. You're able to overcome your craving. That is commendable. But well, people who that. succumb to their cravings like that are weak. It's difficult. I know it's they, difficult. It's I not mean, supposed to be easy. They said that it is just as hard to quit heroin as it is to quit smoking. And, and being someone that has never done any kind of harsh drugs like that. I mean, I've never done any right. kind of serious drugs. I've smoked pot here and there. But my point is, and I just said that on the radio anyway. My point is this. It is difficult, but it doesn't make us bad people. I didn't say you're it's bad just, people. No, I know that, but I have heard you guys talk about the way we, we hack, and, and I have never had one of those horrible coughs, but I can tell a difference in right. the sound of my voice now. Yeah. Um, I had a cold, and it's gone much quicker, and I mean, we're just regular people that somebody gave us a cigarette, and we were stupid enough to take it, and then we had another one. But you're you were smart enough to get out, where though. where we were. Yeah, you're a victim. Yeah. Oh, you're a victim. There's more to this story you don't want to miss. And it resumes right after this brief break. This is the best of the morning X on 99X.